Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, mysterious voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I've found in my travels. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, and I wanted to explore some Brazilian poetry, uh, as I haven't really explored much uh, of literature from that country. Uh, And so today, I found a poem that is about a sort of bizarre self-reflection I am referring to The Psychology of a Loser by Augusto Dos Anjos. For those who don't know, Augusto Dos Anjos is, or was, a a Brazilian uh, author and also lawyer, which is interesting, kind of strange, but it's not the first time I've encountered a uh, a writer, uh, a lawyer combination, um, as it seems seemed to happen a lot back in the 1800s, for whatever reason. Um, he only lived to the age of 30 because he died of, um, of pneumonia, but he um, he managed to do write some poetry and, and other literature in the process, um, uh, with many people claiming he belonged to one school over another, so kind of defying like a, a genre label there. Uh, and yeah, so this is one of the poems that I found from him today. Uh, I, I don't know too much else about him, but I do know that I like this poem, and we're going to talk about it. So uh, I will read the poem, do a little bit of an analysis, and we will move on from there. Psychology of a Loser I, son of carbon and ammonia, monster of murk and splendor, I've suffered the Zodiac's malign influence since infancy's epigenesis. Profoundly hypochondriac, I detest my environment. Anguish rises to my mouth like the death cries, fleeing the mouth of a heart attack. Already the worm, this laborer of ruins, eats the addled blood of carnage and declares war against life in general. It takes a peek at my eyes to gnaw on them and grants me just my hair and the inorganic indifference of the earth. In terms of analysis, what a very negative poem this is, but it's the descriptions and the uh, the sort of pessimism uh, layered within this poem that really spoke to me and made me want to talk about it today. Um, so uh, when 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 analyzing this, when looking at this poem. Uh, like there's, there doesn't really seem to be a story. Like it seems like the narrator um, is speaking about who they are, but using uh, like really general terms in a way that um, sort of is existential, kind of looking outwards in the grand scheme of things. They say, I, son of carbon and ammonia, monster of murk and splendor, I've suffered the Zodiac's malign influence since emphases epigenesis. And that's really interesting because they, they, they say they're the son of carbon and ammonia. Not really describing themselves as a person, but highlighting um, the, the elements that, that make them up. So not really being a person, more so just being a, a combination of, of various chemicals and compounds and, and stuff like that. Um, they also say, I've suffered the Zodiac's malign influence since infancy's epigenesis. And that's interesting because, uh, again, they're 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 they they have no control over their lives. They're not a per, they don't have autonomy. They're kind of being influenced by the universe, by their own by the horoscope, by by the stars. Um, so not only what, what we gather from that first uh, first verse right there is that they don't really view themselves as human, and they're being guided by unseen forces. So there's there's a lack of control, and it doesn't get better from there. The poem just de- uh, like descends further into this dark, pessimistic world. Fatalistic, nihilistic, um, you can make arguments for all of that. And the the second to last verse, uh, Dos Anjos says, Already the worm, this laborer of ruins, eats the adult blood of carnage and declares war against life in general. So I think that's, uh, that maybe that's, uh, uh, this. they calls the worm the laborer of ruins, uh, and and as as that as the poem goes on, it leads me more to suspect that the person in question might actually be dead, uh, because when you call the worm like the laborer of ruins, uh, the laborer of ruins, the ruins being the dead people in this case, like the worm is eating bodies in the grave, and uh, it's declaring war against life in general, just 
sucking the life away from everything. And that's that's even furthered in the, in the last verse where it says, It takes a peek at my eyes to gnaw in them and grants me just my hair and the inorganic indifference of the earth. And when it says inorganic indifference of the earth, I, I picture like this person being buried into the in the ground and the worms coming to, to feast upon the body. Uh, like all you have left is your hair, maybe your nails growing outward, um, nothing else. Um, you're, you're dead and this is the end. So when they say psychology of a loser, um, what they could be, be meaning is like this person is, is dead. Like uh, they, they lost life. Um, it doesn't matter how they lost life. The fact that they're dead means they are a loser in that way. But this could also be... Um, uh, dos Anjos sort of saying that everybody ultimately is a loser because we're all buried in the ground. We all find our, 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 our way six feet under and worms gnawing at our bodies. So is he suggesting that we are all losers in the end? That death comes for us all and therefore nobody wins at life? Um, I think that might be uh, what he's getting at here. Uh, you can certainly make an argument for it. And then um, some other things that I like about the poem are, are the, use of the use of words here. This is translated from the Portuguese, so this isn't the original version of the poem, uh, but he does use uh, some of the same elements in the Portuguese version. Uh, but here you see, I, son of carbon and ammonia, monster of murk and splendor, I've suffered the zodiac's malign influence since infancy's epigenesis. Infancy's epigenesis. A lot of the similar sounding words there. And then he says, profoundly hypochondriac, so words that sound alike. A little bit, a little bit of rhyme there. I detest my environment. Anguish rises to my mouth. So using very strong words to describe this feeling of death or rotting in the ground. Uh, it's, uh, it's really, um, really like gross and also really sort of downtrodden. And I can understand why a lot of people wouldn't like this poem, but I like the poem because it has such like a strong kick to it. And even though like he's, um, he's describing like very negative, very like unhappy feelings, uh, very, um, very nihilistic kind of feelings. It, it, it still manages to, to stand out as, as full of emotion and full of uh, full of uh, flair, I would say, which is what I'm always looking for in poems. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Psychology of a Loser by Augusta dos Anjos. Uh, a pretty solid poem, uh, even though uh, it's it's very dark and, and moody. Um, if you're in the mood for a dark and moody, moody poem, this might be for you. And if you're not, uh, it, it still provides for interesting reading. So I'm going to recommend it to you, and I will put a link to it in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think of it, and let's have a discussion about this poem. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can find out about this poem and this author if they don't already know. Uh, and so we can get more people talking about uh, Poetry Thursday on BookTube. And until then, I wish you the best of luck uh, in your weird and six foot under travels. Farewell.